minutes later, we made it to our hotel at St. Jane. It is perfect for the two of us. So here we have our two little beds. I have claimed the one on the right side. Stephanie's little section. And Stephanie is currently in the bathroom washing her face. She's freshening up before we head out for the evening. And I have to peel this off my skin, which oh. I typically like to do in the shower bath. Stephanie got a brand new tattoo. She's got two new tattoos. I know. Should we get one in, in Chicago? Dude, my mom will literally kill me. I'm 28 years old, my mom will still kill me. We only have Lala passes for Friday and Saturday. So today's Thursday, so we're just gonna spend the evening strolling around the city. I believe Stephanie has a friend out here, so we're gonna link up with him. I just love traveling to places where someone already is in the city, so they can already show us the best places to eat, drink, and hang. The last time I was in Chicago, it was in 2013. I was here with Teen Vogue, and they had me interview just like streams and streams of people outside. I think I wrapped up at like 7 o'clock and they're like, okay, you can go to the festival now. But I was so tired and I was also by myself. So I just literally went back into the hotel. So that was my last Lollapalooza experience. I think that we can do better than that, you know. I, I think so. I think so. It's just an inkling. Wow, 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 wow. We made it to Parsons. I got a chicken sandwich. And Stephanie yes, got the chicken and waffles. This is one of my favorite meals of all time. This is a parks and recreation hall right here. Oh. Wow. An hour ago, this whole patio was completely filled. But it does make for a clean B-roll shot. Good morning! I'm just backlit, waiting for the camera to adjust. Today is the day of the festival! Woo! It's 11.30! <laughs> Hungry. Thank you so much for holding this. It's a roasted corn. Can I get the, the gem lettuce salad, please? Um, and then can I get the burger, please? Breakfast. Breakfast. Yesterday, we went out. Jake showed us a very good time around the city. We went to... Parsons for dinner, as you guys saw. Oh. Amazing chicken sandwiches. And then we went to uh, Best Intentions for another drinky poo. And that was a really cute bar. There was a bunch of free games that you can play. And uh, we had another drink. And then we went over to someone's house. And <laughs> then it was 1 a.m. and we were like, we should probably go. Time to do it. Yeah, and then we were in bed by two, so. Successful yeah. day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know when you just wear an outfit and you just feel like yourself that's literally how I feel right now. I'm wearing my new Fenty sunglasses. Brittany Sky let me try them on when we went to Mexico and I was like, okay, I can buy this online and I'll know it'll look fine. So I paired it with this. I also put on some rhinestones underneath my eyes and I think it looks, it just really matches well. It's it like great. the more is more factor. We've got Stephanie in the neon cowboy. cowboy. Yeehaw, baby. We're going to the same place. We are definitely going to the same place. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're gonna put on some sunscreen. Yes. This is by Bum Bum, and this is SPF 30. And there's also like little glitter particles yeah. in here. Which Sol de Janeiro. Sol de Janeiro. Oh 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 wow! It comes out in one nice stream. stream. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Yeah, the Boom Boom Cream. I'm ready to go, baby. We made it to the festival. Look at the colors. We just got our tequila sodas. Yeah. We just saw the news party. They're so good. For day two, <laughs> it is time for our ritual uh, sunscreen application process. Stephanie did not get sunburnt. I did. It's amazing. Today, I've decided on my lavender wig. Out of all the Yes Style wigs I've gotten, my favorite one is the blue one because the blue one is just a lot more full. And this one, I had to put like a ton of texturizing spray, and I feel like it's still not giving me like the buoyancy of the blue wig, but I just wanted to switch it up today. So I'm wearing a little white tank from Eggy. 
I'll put a link in the description box, wearing a new pair of distressed denim. This is another vintage pair that I've had for at least 10 years now. And today, I'm gonna be wearing my Nikes because my feet were pretty much destroyed by the end of the day. I had to buy a pair of thick socks yeah. to wear underneath. Well, what I am wearing, Fanta's t-shirt, bandana from a gas station. Oh, but my hat and my bandana are from gas stations, wow. but different gas stations. Wow, I sense a theme. She's your all-American girl today. These are the socks I got at Lollapalooza yesterday. If anyone cared. All right, let's go to the festival. Bye. Whispering, I'm the only person in the room, but it's just so relaxing and serene. I feel like if I used my max volume or my normal volume, I feel like it would just be disrupting this area, even though I'm the only person in here. This is my face with no filter. Does it look like glass? Rush hour traffic! Yes, my favorite. I just got my facial and I absolutely love the way my skin looks it is glassy it is dewy I look like a, a steamed dumpling a fresh Xiaolongbao and Alicia who was the esthetician and also the owner of Peach and Lily she did my face and she told me that their star product is the glass skin serum it's one of those serums that has everything in it to combat a lot of different issues there are peptides in it there is Centellia Asiatica and I remember there's like a lot more stuff in there. I really wish that my brain could retain more information But basically a lot of goodness for your skin and also still gentle enough to work with a bunch of skin types as well By the way, I feel like I didn't even talk about my Lollapalooza experience. I mean we got time to talk about it. I mean we got 31 minutes left. Oh my gosh, but Lollapalooza I think that's my favorite festival like we nailed that we stayed at the St. Jane Which was walking distance from the festival so every night when the festival closed we didn't have to work worry about getting an uber since the lineup is divided into four days there's not much overlap so you get to see all the artists that you want to see my favorite artists that I saw over the weekend was Yeji, Han, uh, Arl Grime, who else did I enjoy? Oh you're gonna get on my leg okay put your blinker on then we are yeah. heading to the OC fair on a Wednesday evening we did it we've got Vu here yes welcome to my hood yes you're worth the drive, boo. There's not a lot of people we would drive out to the OC for, I'm, but you are hands it. down. Yeah. I'm pumped. Pumped. We are not doing any ski We're lifts doing all the scary tonight. Rides no to way, Jose. We made it to the fair. I was gonna say the festival. <laughs> the fairstival. So we've got a cup of corn. I've added mayonnaise. I've added garlic salt, Parmesan cheese, and now I think the finishing touch is a little bit of tapatio, and then just like a dash of Louisiana sauce for that tartness. You know, as we were saying, this is like fusion, but I would call it confusion. <laughs> oh! The ramen and the burrito and the shrimp. Just interesting. <laughs> and ramen. Why is it cocktail sauce? <laughs> oh no! He doesn't like it. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Agenda, 
we've got the slide. We're doing all the scary, terrifying rides tonight. Outside of Jewel, we just got a table. I'm having lunch with Sophia today. I feel a little hectic because there's been a lot of drama at the house. I will fill you guys in on that when I get back home. But I feel a little flustered. But Sophie's actually moving her car because street parking today. It's just one of those days where you know you don't pay attention and then something might go wrong. And that's what's happening. We are at not Alco. <laughs> we were supposed to meet at Alco, but this girl goes to Jewel, which is my second recommendation. So, but this looks amazing. It's all plant based. I'm mm -hmm. so excited about this. <laughs> and I got the Impossible Burger with slaw. Back at home, gonna give you a lowdown of what has happened. So over the weekend, uh, while I was at Lollapalooza, uh, Ben had a couple of friends over and. Uh, the toilet clogged and over flood and I just found out that one flush is five gallons of water. Can someone fact check me? I don't know, but either way that's a lot of water that seeped through the bathroom over there and all that water just came gushing out and it went through the floors and now there is bubbling and water damage on the first floor. So today I had a water removal specialist come in and they explained that we need to rip out the entire walls of the first floor and the second floor bathroom and uh, gut it out and then put in fans to de dehumidify everything. And then once that process is done, we gotta you know, put the wall back together and then paint it. So it's not, not ideal. I freaked out about it like 40 minutes ago, but now that I got that out of my system and I've done all the scary adulting things like calling my homeowner's insurance and then filing a claim and then calling a plumber and then now, now we're trying to find a contractor. So it's not a great day. I'm trying to keep positive and you know, luckily this is all solvable. There's like nothing I can do. So all I can do is wait um, in other news. Uh, the Eggy pre-fall drop happened today, the first half of the collection. I'm actually wearing the Lisbon bodysuit right now. It's got a little one shoulder action and it's a bodysuit so you can just tuck it under anything. Honestly, okay, let me just vent just for a little bit. Like, I don't know about you guys, but like literally my environment is everything. Like, especially if it's messy, like I just cannot stand like dirty environments. It just makes me feel so cluttered and stressed. And so, you know, when contractors come up, like we have to like remove everything from the first floor. And just seeing that chaos is gonna be really intense. So I'm just mentally preparing for that. And uh, I don't know, so I, I was telling Sophia at lunch today and she actually told me that Desi Perkins is actually going through the exact same thing. But for her, she was like putting on her bath, but then she didn't realize the water was coming out of the shower head. And so she just left it running. So. She's going through the exact same thing. It's like a pretty common problem. So um, if this ever happens to you, uh, feel free to watch the future vlogs to see just the demolition of the first floor and the, and the reconstruction. So this is the first floor that I often rarely show you guys, especially because it's like Ben's little space, but all the water in the ceiling leaked out. And for a while that was dripping water too, but I went to the restroom and I just saw all this weird blistering and bubbling on the wall and I was like, it's time to contact a professional because this is not okay. It's not. So I guess they're going to bust this open and then reconstruct it. This is the ceiling that they're going to bust out. That's going to be fun. But this is the, the filming room actually. None of the lights were damaged. So yeah, they're gonna bust open that ceiling. They're gonna bust open this closet. But honestly, we did need to clean out this closet. Like, what is this? But it's really gonna force us to remove everything here that is not necessary, you know, like a nice deep purge. You guys got the, the situation. You guys get to see what it looks like before. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like tomorrow when it's gonna be chaotic. 